I'm Taryn, and today is the first day I feel normal. April 10th I had my surgery, and for the last five days I've been in recovery. Things are a little bit rough, um, every day is getting a little bit better. It still feels like my stomach's gonna fall off sometimes, and sometimes I have to physically hold it in order to walk, but that's slowly going away. Um, surgery was very early Thursday morning. I had to get up at about 4 uh, to take a shower and do all the, the rest of my pre-surgery requirements. And I was at the hospital by 6.30 because it takes an hour or so to get there. We left at about 5.15 because they had completely destroyed the bridges getting to the hospital on the freeway so we had to find an alternate route. So. At the hospital, they gave me an IV, they drew some blood, they put an anti-nausea patch on the back of my neck, which really helped, and before I knew it, I was whisked away, and I woke up about two and a half hours later uh, in transition from the operating room and recovery into my own private room. Um, the first day actually wasn't the hardest, which is something that I was surprised about. They had me up and walking once or twice that day, and I also wanted to walk a little bit. It was exhausting, and the first day, my back actually hurt far more than my abdomen did, and that was because I was lying flat down on a hard surface for over two and a half hours on an operating table. Uh, I'm sorry, my voice is a little coarse. It's snowing and it's really dry in my house and I can't drink water very fast so I haven't been able to get my mouth back to normal but I'm working on it. Um, unfortunately there were a couple minor complications in my surgery. Uh, they weren't able to get a leak to stop with a normal amount of, of staples so I have some extra staples. Um, and that's interesting but the doctor assured me that I wouldn't have any leaks and I'm still sore. My back still hurts a lot, but I found that a heating pad alternating from my back and my abdomen really helps. So if you have a heating pad, I highly recommend using it if you're going for the the if you're going for the bariatric surgery. Um, through the hospital, the most difficult part was the fact that I was woken up every two hours to get my oxygen levels. Um, my blood was taken, temperature was taken, blood pressure all the time, and I actually tested my blood sugar uh, almost every two hours, and I still have a bunch of finger pokes from that, but I want to make sure your blood sugar level wasn't going too low. Mine actually got below 50, and I actually got a little concerned, so they forced me to drink uh, apple juice even though I didn't want to. I still don't really want to drink it. Um, so that's been the most interesting part. It was also kind of annoying that the they give you these leg wraps that automatically uh, compact your legs and retract them to prevent blood clots. And the annoy the only annoying part was after I got my catheter out, gross, yes, very gross. Um, if I wanted to go to the bathroom, I had to call a nurse and ask her to unhook me because I couldn't bend down far enough to take them off myself. So that was fun. Um, I have six holes in my abdomen, and today it feels a whole lot better than it has previously, and today is my second night sleeping in my bed versus sleeping in the, on the, uh, the lounger downstairs, which was a big help. Um, I'm still bummed I can't sleep on my side, which is how I usually sleep, but I'll be able to do that soon. I think the worst part definitely has been the back pain. Um, my back has almost hurt more than my abdomen some days, so the heating pad has been really helpful. But the also worst part is getting in protein when the protein I bought is so gritty it dries out my mouth and makes it hard to eat. And I need to finish that before I get any new stuff, which I'm not very thrilled about. So that's gonna be fun. I just wanted to put an update. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I'm still pretty tired 
and I've made it up and down the stairs a couple times, and that's probably the most exhausting thing. So today was just the first day that I felt human. I took a shower, I even blew my hair dry and put a little bit of makeup on, and I think that's all I want to talk about today, mostly because I'm really tired and I need to start a protein shake. And it's 10 a.m. and I haven't had one yet because I haven't woken up yet. So that's what I'm going to do. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I post a lot of stuff on Instagram and Tumblr, and I will put those in the comment section below. Thank you!